We switched off of daylight saving time last weekend, which might still be disrupting your sleep. That's right. MTN's Carson Vickroy tonight shows us why. To our bodies, daylight savings time is like traveling through different time zones. In the, in the fall, it seems when we change our clocks uh, backwards, it seems like we're flying maybe from Denver to Seattle. Uh, but in the springtime, when we go the other way, it seems like maybe we're going from Denver to Chicago. So we lose an hour going east and we gain an hour going west. And in the springtime, we lose an hour and in the fall, we gain an hour. The process that regulates our sleep schedule is called the circadian rhythm, which is influenced by light. Um, but it turns out that we have uh, circadian rhythmicity in multiple organs throughout our body. So muscles, liver, uh, a variety of other organs respond to changes in time. These changes in light can be detrimental to our health. So what can happen when we uh, have daylight saving time and we shorten our sleep period, it makes it more likely that we'll have strokes for a couple of days. It makes the likelihood that we have a heart attack or develop heart irregularities uh, like atrial fibrillation more frequent. It takes some time to adjust to the time change, but it can be more difficult when we immediately see more light later on in the day. When daylight saving goes away in the fall and we move our clocks back, um, we actually accommodate to that a little bit easier and it can take anywhere between a day to two or three days. And everybody's variable, so how you respond to that is quite different. Um, it's a little harder to go the other way uh, in the springtime. It takes a little bit longer to adjust, uh, sometimes uh, upwards of a week to a couple of weeks. To get used to the time change, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends that you go to bed and wake up 15 minutes earlier in the days following daylight savings time. In Bozeman, Carson Vickroy, MTN News. And an interesting note, California residents voted Tuesday to make, make daylight saving time permanent in their state, and that follows the lead of Arizona and most recently of Florida. Well, we're told the measure still will require a two-thirds vote from the California legislature and a change in federal law to take effect. Well, tonight's Montana Snapshot takes us to one of my favorite places in Montana, Glacier National Park.